All right. I think I've recovered from that image from the last episode. That was not a fun time. I don't like looking at stuff like that. Now we're back to watch the final two episodes of season one of The Expanse. With no further ado, let's jump into the episode. And I will see you guys right after for the review. What do you think is on this Anubis? Something. Something worth spilling a lot of blood over. That something is not pretty. Seven weeks earlier, okay. We're getting a flashback. It's nothing bigger than a light transport, nothing we can't handle. I'm not worried. We're going to lock up for me a gentleman. I know how to fly. Easy. I'm not trying to pet you the wrong way, I'm trying to help. I'm sorry, it's just been a long time coming, a long fight to get here with my father's one. money. And that's his weapon on that ship. Belters need to know what it is so it can't be used against us. Us? Oh. You are a true belief that she is. You may not share our brittle bones, but you're definitely one of us, Belter Love. I saw you race once. Beautiful ship. Race her back. What ship? What the pilot? Prepare to intercept. Matching course and speed. So her father is the one building this ship. Oh my Boarding god. Boarding team, check god. command. Good to go. Soon as hooks are in, we jump charges. Breach, subdue crew, grab the cargo then. They're scientists, not soldiers. They work for my father, they'll fight. Where did that come from? That's a gunship. Yo, bruh. Man, they move. Compartments, all hands, we are being boarded. Just like that. We know that they spaced everybody, bruh. Except her. I think that's the guy that was on the message. Hands off that one. She's a complication. She's a complication because y'all work for her father, probably. Ma'am, the distress beacon has been planted on the scopuli. Canterbury should be picking it up soon. Hey, the sooner we get Earth and Mars at each other's throat, the sooner we get their eyes off Arrow. Does it feel like so they're to from you? Eros? No. Well, I'm hot. Check climate control and make it cooler. So they were starting a war, but is is Eros is the one that's trying to start the war? I mean, she's not the one that sent that signal, but I mean the beacon thing. This is Lionel Polanski. I repeat, Lionel Polanski. Pickup is gone bad. The crew is dead. I'm being held captive. I'm alone. Somebody come and get me. Somebody help. Somebody help, please. She was already on their ship at this time. Ah, so I understand the timeline now. I understand the timeline now. She was already on that ship at the time. So the thing that they that we saw in episode one, right? The thing that we saw in episode one with the, the biochemical weapon or whatever... That was the aftermath of shutting down everything, and she's the one that probably shut down everything on the ship and got a, and got the hell out of there and got back to Eros, because she so she was already on the stealth ship, because they took her with it. So when we saw her in the first episode, she wasn't on the Scopuli; she was on this ship. That's crazy. So she was already on the stealth ship at that time, because I was thinking that she was still on the Scopuli, right? That's what we thought, right? And then the camp, the camp got destroyed because they came to check on the beacon that was set by them as a trap on the scopuli. So that's crazy, man. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, when she finally escaped, she found everybody dead and what was happening, but it was too late. Yeah, everybody is dead already. See, the thing was already on her. Yeah, so she was already... I don't know if you want to call it infected, but whatever that thing was, she was already affected by it. Episode 1. Because I was out here thinking she's still on the Scopuli, but they didn't find her. Mission has failed. I'm aboard the Anubis. There's something in the reactor. It looks like it consumed everyone else. If it's a bioweapon, I've never seen anything like it. I have to get off the ship. I'll set up an OPA locator beacon and park it where no one else can find it. But I just have to leave. But you took that shit back to Eros. And that's a problem because it could be something that spreads. You know, that's what I'm thinking. That that's not the end of it. The station is within range of the Anubis shuttle. I'll be there. Waiting for you. That's the reason why when you watch TV show, I tell you, I mean, you gotta pay attention because you 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 miss stuff and then you lose interest because they're trying to set up everything and you Oh, he's back home. Oh, uh, this is when before he left. What did he notice here? What did... Miller, you asshole. Long time. They're showing the full flashback. I tried. I tried to keep a low profile, but it wasn't as easy as I hoped. I had to get off the streets. I left a trail of breadcrumbs. A way for you to find me. And I waited. <coughs> and I waited. Oh, she was getting sick by them. Dawes? Eee. He didn't even answer. Why didn't you come? No, they're not Just dying. E. Ah, she was trying to get rid of anything with light or energy. It was already too late. Oh my god. I don't want to see this. Oh man. Y'all ain't gross us out enough. Just out here trying to have to be in darkness because. Anything with energy attracts it. Oh my god. Gross. Ugh. Please, mommy. Don't let him self raise your butt. I wouldn't see it again. Jesus, man. Look at what this thing does to you. Did she see this? Why did she see him before she died? Oh, I like that smell. So she like died right before they came in? Oh my god, that's so gross. Ah, you're really gonna let me live through this again, man. Oh my god, it doesn't even begin to describe what that's doing to me. Oh my god, goosebumps everywhere, bro. Mm. Don't touch her. She could be contagious. Yes. You gotta go. Calvary's on its way. There's nothing you can do for her. And if you stay here, you'll never find out who did this to her. I mean, really, and I mean, let's be honest. She, <laughs> she made that conscious choice to go out there and find out what this is. So. Really and true, this is not even her daddy's fault. Oh, who did this to her? It's more of like, she made a choice and these were the consequences. She just didn't know what the consequences was going to be. It was an unknown. Drop him. Not happening. 
Easy. Jesus, Miller. What the hell you got yourself into? Ain't no way I can clean all this up. You got that right. We're not asking you to do anything. We're just gonna walk out of here real easy. We didn't see each other. Look, you stay right where you are. Miller, you tell me what the hell is going on here. She's gone. With a girl. Room 22. Don't touch anything in there. Just lay low. Don't leave the station till we talk. We need to find out what he knows. Don't push him too hard right now. He's having a tough time dealing with what we saw. The girl meant something to him. It was a shock finding her like that. Miller! So you left this tenement, no one in or out without my say so. What the hell are you doing here? This is my crime scene. CPM works for me. I'm looking for this girl. Doesn't look like we were followed. Okay, I'd say we're all in a bit of trouble here. So why don't we just figure what out... What are you doing we're... following Judy? We didn't know who we were looking for. Who are thugs back at the hotel? We don't know. What goddamn thing you do know? Well, that stuff on her, we saw it before. On the Anubis. Oh, what happened to her? What happened to her? Settle down! Uh -huh. e easy there! Amos, for God's sake, do what you something! Do? What we should be doing is leaving. The cops are gonna be all over us. He's right. We shouldn't separate. I'm gonna prep the ship for dust off. You guys meet us there. We both follow Julie here. We both have part of the story. I want the truth as bad as you do. Should I be wearing a mask? It's not airborne. It's not airborne. It's wet. Don't touch it. Unless you want incredible things to happen. She's got more than enough in her. <laughs> Tell the crew to prepare the injections. Give us a moment. Is this a... No, this wouldn't be your dad. I'm truly sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. But your daughter is dead. Jeez. We still man. don't know what exactly happened on the Anubis. It looks as though Julie was the lone survivor. Somehow, she managed to pilot the shuttle to Iris. The only Finally get in to meet this guy. To temper this terrible news. Was able to obtain a viable sample of the proto-molecule. Proto-molecule. We are ready for lockdown. The radiation units are in place. We can still do what needs to be done. We've come so far since that incredible revelation on Phoebe. On now we Phoebe. stand on the precipice. We can only learn by letting it learn. All you need to do now is say the word. I'll be waiting. We got lucky. See this plan. Damn, just wipe the tears. We didn't hang around the Anubis long enough to figure out what So, that stuff was. they're responsible, the maybe, what they were experimenting in Phoebe. Found some new bioweapon they were putting together on Phoebe. She wanted to steal it. They couldn't use it on Belters. And they used it on her. She was an Earther. Died for the belt. You guys feel that? We sure did. Ship just blew up in the docks. The Rosie? No, it wasn't in that bay. That's the good news. Ships are all locked down tight. Oh, they were like memory chips. Memory pencils? What the hell? What is she trying to find? Is this what Fred is building? The drives that match these serial numbers? What ships were they installed in? Include black ops. Locate the drives. Where are they right now? No tracking data. You knew it was gonna happen. How could they know a ship was gonna blow up on the docks? Because they did it? Yeah? It's a simple deduction. <laughs> hey, where the hell are you going? Let him go! Well, who's on to something? It's all connected. The camp, the girl. It's not your problem. It's not your fault. None of it is. But now I'm making it my problem. Meet me back at the Rossi. I'll be a few hours tops. Well, if I'm not back in three hours, leave. Iodine supplement. Protect the radiation. Mandatory. So they're, they're essentially rounding up people and giving them this thing as a test, bro. No, no, no. You're not going to be around me right now, okay? It's gonna get ugly. I'm getting used to ugly. The guys who took out the Dodger had body armor just like that. I think I'm aiming at. Oh, is he? 
one of the guys who did what they did to Julie. Go back to your friends. God damn it. If he killed Julie, he killed my ship too. I need you alive. You guys stop this. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, break it on you. You go quiet and go now, as we throw you into ourselves. Here's your problem, asshole. Huh? It just made me feel better. Oh my god. My name is Frederick Lewis Johnson. Many of you know me, one way or another. My name is Frederick Lewis Johnson. <clears throat> I come before you today not as a member of the Outer Planets Alliance, though I am proud to call myself one, but a citizen of the system. At this moment, the UNN Nathan Hale is headed for Tycho Station to arrest me. The UN believes I was involved in the attacks on the Donninger. That is not true. And I can prove it. This data cube was recovered from the wreckage of the Donninger and the armor of a Martian Marine. I'm broadcasting the raw data with this message. Anyone can examine and authenticate it. They were advanced stealth fighters. They didn't come from the belt. I didn't build them. No belter did or could. Some people won't believe that coming from me, of who I am. Mm. I accept that. None of us can change the things we've done, but we can all change what we do next. I've seen battle. I've been the oppressor, and I know his mind. And now hear the drum beats of war. The belters serve the inner planets for generations. Belters give, Earth and Mars take. The things we care about have changed. Even our bodies have changed. We've grown to hate each other for that. Now, someone, somewhere, for some ungodly reason, wants the whole sad lot of us to fight and die. It's not the belt's fight. This evidence proves beyond a doubt that the ships that destroyed the Donager were built at the Bush Naval Shipyards. They were built by Earth. Damn. That's crazy. Who is the guy you're guarding? I wasn't even thinking Earth. Yeah. He was a scientist. Dresden. I heard them call him Dresden. That's all I know. What's this, huh? It's a series Grisha tat. I used to run with them back there, so what? But you're wearing a cop uniform, why is that? I went straight. CPM offered a bunch of Grigas jobs here a few months back. Sweet salary. Dos Ariagas, so heroes. They hired everybody. They had us hooking up cameras and science gear all over the station. Why are you herding everybody into those shelters? Because that's what they asked me to do today. The script spins. If these assholes want people in those shelters, we should let them out. Yeah, what they want, they want test subjects. That's what they want, bro. They're gonna use them as test subjects, man. You're gonna take me to the nearest shelter, and you're gonna help me get it. This is crazy, CMC's man. Would you? They shoot us both. Ah! Jesus Miller. Ah! Ah! Get this poor officer some help. <laughs> this poor officer some help. As far as I can tell, all the transit pod lines are shut down. Well, the ships are locked down. Nobody's going anywhere. First things first. They don't want anybody to go anywhere. There's got to be other ways to get to the docks. We need to find one. Hold on. We're on the move. They're shutting down the electronics, too. Comms just went dark. Bruh. They want to destroy heroes like what they did to Phoebe. That's what... Just want to get to shelter. Go home. Stay where you are. No shutting You want to back on the Come just charge in and start shooting. Pretty sure we can. Hey, keep your hands off these people. What the hell do you think you're doing? It's Miller's pal. You stand down. I got rank here. Not today, you don't. Sir, sir, we're trying to. What are you going to do? This guy's gotta go, man. What the hell is he? he needs medical attention. I can attention. see that, but who the hell are you? Higher down at Connector Shaft. You want to check it out? We'll take care of him. Open the door. They say once it's shut, it stays shut. Oh! <laughs> this guy is funny. Jeez, man. Yeah. They're just test subjects.
just got hit with a mega dose of hard radiation. Not bad. Enough to give you cancer, at least. We're dead. <sighs> Yo, it's kind of crazy, bruh. But we got to talk about it. So, we got the full flashback of what happened to Julie. Full flashback of it. We saw her dad for the first time, and her dad is the one that's in that created this thing. Or um, I'm guessing that they never got a sample off of the the scopuli. Probably they never got a sample, and they had to leave it because it seems like they had to leave it um, in a rush. That Dresden guy. Seemed like they had to leave in a rush. So now that she brought it home, they're like, oh, good news. <laughs> you know, and it seems like they, um, it seems like what happened is that they tested it, right? They tested it. They tested it on Phoebe. They tested it on Phoebe as well. And now here we are on Eros, they're testing it again. I don't know if they're actually like do, that they want test subjects to see how this thing performs, or are they actually wiping out these smaller places around the belt and using it against them? And why are, why are these stealth, we find out also that these stealth battleships were built on earth, right? They were built on earth to essentially just i don't know they were built i i think he's the one that's in charge of the the um the um the the battleship yard that they were created it seems like the dad is in charge of that it seems like he's the one i mean he seems like he was broken up it's like hey we we got a mission to accomplish so what do they have against the belters you know because now that fred is putting that message out there is like yo they're responsible for this and they don't want it to come back to bite them in the ass so they're just kind of like cleaning up loose hands and this is all just gotten out of control of people who really know what's really going on and they were experiencing this so this is kind of like Man, I, I'm thinking about a lot of things right now that I, 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 I do want to leave. I don't want to think too hard on it because it might not be the case. But we have one more episode to go in the season. And I'm seeing some correlation here. Everything is kind of coming together. But I don't know what I can possibly expect going forward here. Um, especially going into this final episode, it's like, how are they going to get off here? They they literally shut down Eros right now. They've just been shot with a bunch of radiation, so they could be, you know, dead. Not if they can get to decontamination. I don't know if this is like deadly amount of radiation where it's just like, oh, we're going to die either way. This is getting crazy and crazy, and I'm loving it. Anyways, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment. See you guys for the final episode. I'm out. Mm.